What's going on guys? Um, many people have been asking me about the Xperia S or the SL if they have a release custom ROM yet for on 4.4 uh, KitKat Android version but I have found a few on alpha and beta versions so unstable ones but I haven't been managed I haven't managed to install them yet but what I have found is this very very interesting ROM I found um, it's a KitKat based ROM which means it's still on the Android 4.1.2 uh, Android version which is I don't know I, yeah it's kind of a shame well here I'll just show you there that's uh, on 4.1.2 but uh, in when you're flashing the ROM it gives you loads of options to um, yeah select things so you can either choose for the Z1 based look or the KitKat based look so I chose for everything for the KitKat so I've got the KitKat font sorry for the bad quality again but I've got the KitKat font I've got the KitKat uh, applications I've got the KitKat launcher I've got almost everything off from the KitKat I think I've even got the KitKat camera and uh, Walkman well I'm not sure if the Walkman's from the KitKat version but I'm not sure well I haven't really used the KitKat version yet so I don't know but it looks very different than the usual ROMs that have been uh, brought out by developers so yeah um, it's really really smooth um, you should definitely try it out if you if you're sick of the Android 4.1.2 version like the, the standard jelly bean things so this one's got quite a lot of uh, let's say modifications to it um, for the rest it's just got the normal uh, Xperia 4.1.2 uh, status bar I'm sorry about this being so white and bright but the settings is pretty nice like it's it's really like how, do, how should I say like really nicely spread out and you've got the personalization here with with all the themes you can choose which is also on the normal Xperia I know but it's yeah nice touches towards it um you've it come the the ROM is called Leopard X, so you can also like go into your Leopard X things and go into your performance control and yeah it's got all usually things. It's got your OTA updater which we also saw in the Trinity Vengeance ROM. If you haven't seen that you can check it out um probably put a link in the in the video. So yeah, um I uh, don't know what else I could say about it but uh, yeah, the the flashing is really nice. It's like the Trinity Vengeance, so you can just while you're flashing, you can choose what applications you put on, what sound uh, drivers, what yeah um, yeah fonts and all that. So you could also select the Z1 fonts and uh, applications, but I don't know how that would look. You can always try for yourself. And this ROM is also for the Xperia SL, by the way, uh, just like the Trinity Vengeance. It's pretty similar like base but it's way 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 smoother so yeah this isn't a, this is just a video just to show uh, yeah that there is a 4.4 coming on on the way and as soon as I will uh, I'll manage to flash it onto my phone I will definitely post a video about it so subscribe if you wanna um, yeah see when the SL or S uh, 4.4 official well not official unofficial will probably be uh, Android version comes out so that we can see the 4.4 in the Android version. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can say about it. Um, definitely recommend it because it's so smooth and fast. I have no idea about the battery life because I've only just installed it. Um, I, if you would comment maybe later on the video, I can always respond in how I would think it is. But it looks like a a very decent ROM for a day-to-day -day use because it's really really fast and it's only on 1.5 gigahertz at the moment. And of course you can overclock it to I think 1.7 or 1.8 but you have to make sure that during the flashing you have to uh, select the performance control option and yeah some yeah other things like that. So yeah, yeah this is to show how fast everything loads up like it's pretty pretty cool like um, you've got the KitKat launcher here which you can change all the things of course but yeah this is something I think you can get off the Play Store anyways. Um, so yeah, um, subscribe for more ROMs and more tutorials on everything else and uh, I'll see you next time.